Hello, welcome to Leaf Map Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive map with a marker cluster. So first, let me show you what the results look like. So for example, uh, in this map, we have a uh, US here with different regions, uh, Northeast, uh, Southeast, uh, the West, and also the, uh, the, uh, the, the Midwest. And so different points, uh, so the points represent cities uh, in the US, some of the major cities. So different uh, points in different regions will be um, colored with different icons or different markers, so different style, different color, and with different icon uh, within the marker. And this is a simple, easy map that we create just with, uh, with a couple lines of code. And you can also have a laser. So up lower right corner here, uh, when I'm uh, full screen, so the laser doesn't uh, pull up. But here, this is where you can see, right? South, North, East, Mid, West, and also the West. Okay. And first, let's download the notebook example. So you need to go to livemap.org and then on the left side, notebooks, then press Control N on your keyboard to go to the end. Here, we're going to download number 50 marker cluster. So click this one, and then upper right corner here. Uh, you are welcome to open in Google Collab or using a binder. So I'm going to download this one to my computer. So just click the download icon and download. So from here, uh, you can open the uh, your uh, Windows terminal or an Anaconda prompt. So I'm going to use my Linux uh, terminal and then just uh, Conda activate your Jupyter Lab. Hit enter. Then it's open uh, the Jupyter Lab in your browser. After that, on the left side here, double click, open the notebook. Right. This is what we're going to go through here. And there are two data sets we're going to use. But first, let's import uh, the library, right? Import. And then we're going to create an inter interactive map center around the US. So it will be latitude 40 degree, uh, longitude negative uh, 100, and then zoom label 4. After that, we're going to specify the data. So we're going to use the city. So this is the data set we're going to use. Uh, it's a CSV. You're welcome to copy and paste the, this one to a URL, uh, and then you can also right click to save this one um, to your computer if you want. So, save as, save as a CSV to your computer, and then you can double click. Uh, so, the first one is a CSV, second one is a geosession, right? CSV, we have the name, uh, latitude, longitude, population, also the reason. So, this is the column that we need that we need to. Um, give a different marker, different type of marker to a different region, right? So the west, north, east, uh, south, southeast, also the south. Okay. Let me go back to this one here. So the next one is the region. So this is uh, basically a geojson representing uh, different US regions. Let me see this one here. Okay. And so first, um, let me execute here, just add the geojson to the map, right? So let me show you the map first, right? Before I add the uh, marker cluster, so it looks like this. So it's just uh, different regions, right? The uh, northeast, south, midwest, and also the west. Uh, of course, you can also see um, in Alaska, but this is the first data layer. So the second data layer we're going to add is the marker cluster. So see here. Um, Market cluster, we're going to use this function called add points from XY, right? So shift tab, uh, bring up the help documentation. So you can, you can pass in the data and you also need to specify what's the, uh, the column name for the, uh, longitude, the column name for the latitude. And also, do you want to specify or pop up and the layer name? Uh, you can also specify the color column. So this is the, um, very important one here because we're going to um, give cities in a different region with a different marker, right? And you can also, for example, specify what's the mark, the name of the marker you want. Because in this case, we have uh, four um, different types, four regions, right? So we need to specify four color. And let me execute this one first just to show you what it looks like. So, so now, all the points have been uh, added to the map. So let me move, uh, minimize this one. Similarly, you can also see the laser. So uh, keep it in mind, right now we are using the uh, the default plotting backend. So basically it's iPy leaflet. 
uh, early they show you on the website that one uh, is actually a, a folium protein pair and so the folium you can actually move around uh, it's slightly different but uh, here we're using the uh, iPad leaflet so if I zoom in take a look you can actually see the marker the icon within the marker actually spinning uh, the reason for this is we, uh, we set the spin equal to 2 right so you can see it's uh, the leaf is spinning so you can also click uh, it's going to show you the pop up so the name so basically all the items that I showed you earlier in the attribute table right so on the waist uh, using a leaf so this is how we specify here the name of the icon right so we're going to um, specify this is the column we're going to use to uh, style the marker and this is the names of the uh, the names of the icon so the gear uh, the map or the leaf and also the globe and these are all from the font awesome uh, icon so you can click the link if you want to uh, go to the website to take a look right so these are all the available icons uh, that you can use uh, for the marker so if you want for example i can change to maybe see for example this one here a cord or maybe this one here a uh, cord right let me just simply come here and maybe let's change this one here for example with the leaf they say i want to change this one to a different type of marker so box and then again shift enter Check look so now you have this one here actually uh, with a different icon so it's very easy to do uh what you need is to provide a csv and then uh you also need to know what's the the default one is longitude latitude um so and then what kind of column and uh, let me open the, the csv again just to make sure that uh, you understand what this doing here right so we have this csv file uh, has one two three four six columns right and the x here uh, is indeed named um, longitude the y is latitude right and then so the column we're going to use to style is this one here so the region after that you just need to specify okay i want uh, different type of icons if you just use the same one if we just for example you can delete all those and then then you'll be using just the same one but with different color so right red blue green something like that but uh, make sure that you have the same because uh, uh, if you provide for example here uh, we have four regions so you need four icons uh, if you provide Another one here, for example, I can say leave again. Uh, it's going to show you an error. So the number of unique values in the color column region is not equal to the number of available colors uh, because we only have four um, uh, four regions. So you need to provide. Uh, so the laser here um, by default is going to add lasers because we have executed multiple times. So you see multiple lasers, but um, if you want i can go back here i can just simply rerun all the sales then for example here this is exactly what it looks like right and if you move your mouse uh, low right corner here this is the uh, showing you the values of the geosation so basically the polygon uh, attribute and this one is for the ipad leave that by your way come to use the volume so i can you basically you simply need to change one line and uh, everything else remain the same so i can just volume map uh, as if map that's it and then just simply run all cell again and this one is exactly the same as you see here on the website because this is the documentation website and um, it only support volume so that's why by default it's going to use a uh, volume so and let me come back to here again right take a look so now uh, the spin uh, even if you set the two because this one only applies to ipi leave ipi leave that so it doesn't work for volume but uh, at least you can see uh, you can still apply different color different marker uh, uh, different uh, markers with uh, different styles of icons again move the legend around uh, you can turn the layer for example the marker the reason right so pretty much uh very easy to do just one line of code uh, you just need to specify the data csv uh, 
uh, you can also use a, um, a panda uh, data frame if you want and just need to be familiar with what kind of icon that you want and then you can create a map like this so after that if you want to for example uh, embed this one in a website you can simply uh, m doc save so you can save this one as a web page right so for example here i can say uh cities so html and then shift enter so on the left side you should notice there's a file city.html and then come back to here double click right so now you have this one here uh as a web page after that uh, if you want you can uh, create for example uh, glitch.com and you can uh, create a new web new for example let me create a new project here after that you just need to um drag this one into your project so that uh, let me show you here right so now we have this one a uh, city so let me show you here just preview new window all right so this is the link of the url you just need to put here uh slash cities or uh, cities dot i yes dot html all right and now you have this website up every morning what you need just simply uh, copy the link and send to anyone that uh, that you want them to uh, share um to look at the website and you can click right you will show the pop up so very easy um you can use this one to uh, create a map for any kind of a point data and then you want to if you want to customize different styles for uh, different categories uh, of the data okay so that's all for this video i hope you find it useful uh, hope to see you in the next video take care bye bye